हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट और दिस इज द बेसिक फाउंडेशन ऑफ योर जावा एंड इफ यू स्किप दिस टॉपिक देन इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू लर्न जावा सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो वेरी सीरियसली एंड इन अ वेरी अटेंटिव वे सो द टॉपिक इज क्लासेज एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स this is the basic foundation because every time we were saying in the previous video that java is based on object oriented programming language and it is based on classes and objects only so we have to discuss what exactly are classes and what exactly are objects because if you go for any of your java interviews also you will be asked about oops object oriented programming languages ob what are object oriented programming languages and what is the concept behind it and someone can ask you what is a class what is a object so you need to know them so let's start with them they are very easy you don't need to panic they are very easy to understand let's take it in the form of a very easy example like for example if i went out on a um, like for shopping let's say in a car showroom okay i will take very easy example in a car showroom so here in a car showroom i can say i have a car okay so here in the showroom i can say i have a car where the user can let's have some different type of a car showroom that here the user can add the color and here the user can also add the i would say the sound system okay to the car the sound system to the car according to the needs so let's say there was user 1 user 1 came out or the person that was me i said that the car color should be red and the sound system should be of uh, let's say of bose okay then my friend came out as the user 2 and then she said that no 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 i want of color blue and i want of jbl okay let's say the sound system of jbl great another person came um some other person stranger person he or she said that i want black color and the sound system should be of sony okay so now you can say every person was having his or her own different choice but that choice was implemented through car this car what does it means like the person everyone let's say the user 1 was using red color user 2 blue user 3 black but something common between these three user was what the color exactly what color they are using okay similarly user 1 2 3 they were using some type of a company for their speakers or for their sound system what was the common thing in between them that they were using a sound system okay so the using the idea of getting this color or rather sorry i wrote this wrong it should be color not red okay so the idea of using this sound and color of their car for their own personal use they got from where they got this idea from where from the showroom car okay and then they took this idea and just modified according to their need someone said that the sound sound system should be of bose and the color should be red but the other person said no 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 i want the sound should be of jvl and the color should be blue so we took the idea or rather i can say this blueprint and then i just modified in my own way okay so that's now we will come on to the different ways of adding this same idea onto the this was a real world example that i gave you now i will make it in the form of the same example in the form of classes and objects in java so what i will do here again i will go to the car showroom okay so this car is my class let's say now this instead of saying showroom i made a class that was having a variable let's say int okay and then here um, no not int rather i would say it should be of string type okay let's take it out here string and this string was storing the color okay so the color and here i had a method say void sound that was just that was playing the sound and this is what my method okay so let me again tell you this is what a variable i am writing here also so that you don't get confused and this is what your method okay this is what your method so now this was a class car and then i had some purchase person who were purchasing it this was the first second and third person who came 
so it was first me let's take it as person 1 p1 who came out and said that now i will take this variable color again and i will make this color to be as let's say the color to be as red and then the function of this sound system will be provided by sony let's take then second person came out and this person said no no i will have some different i will use this black and then the sound system should be provided by bose third person came out and third person said no i want some different i will be taking it blue and the sound system should be provided by jbl this is okay so these are the three person so what exactly is words that this class is your car car class is using is having variable and a method and then objects these persons are nothing they are the objects okay they are the objects that gave them specific values like red and the function should be sony similarly another object i created and that was black and bose another object was created and it was blue and jbl so what is happening is that the class is a blueprint okay and object takes the idea from the class and give its own modified value or its own values that according to the needs of the user like here you can see person was person 1 as a object it was using red and sony whereas another object we used as another person need and that came out to be black and bose and person 3 that was blue and jbl so every person has its own choices and in the same way object takes the values um take the basic blueprint from the class that is the variable and the method and they define its their own value so i hope now you can understand and there is not only restriction that we can have only three objects you can create n number of objects there is no some restrictions um i only recall only sony jbl and bose as of now if you have any other music company any other color you can make it as your own this was a short story i just told you for the classes and objects now let's have a real world example and create our own class and object and do this program and let's see whether we are on the correct page or not so as of now i will just remove this we don't need these statements and all for the for loop and all i will just create a simple class in front of you and we will use that okay so here i will first create a method okay first i will create an int variable let's take it string only for your need as of now string name the class simple this is the string name and then a class is having let's say void color nay void sound that i used as of now okay and in this sound i will just simply take it um sound and whatever sound that the user want to give i will take it as a parameterized input as of now i will teach you in the further videos how this parameterized input is working but don't worry i am just telling you or giving you a glimpse of it um so here you will take string color okay so whatever the color user is printing we will just give it system dot out dot print ln and then this color will be printed let's print out this color simple okay so this is your color being printed now how to create a object now i have created a class name a um, class function and this all class variables and values i have given these behavior this is the method that is you can also call the behavior and this is a class variable that you can also call it as um string uh, object state or the instance okay so now we are creating this now what to do okay so to create a object what you need you need to just write the class name of that so what is the class name of my this program it is first program so i will create first program theek hai so now it will be ob let's take the object name as ob or the person name here i was using p1 you can see you can take it p1 also not an op issue but most people have a practice of taking this so i will take it p1 as of now and to create a object you 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 need to use this new keyword this new is a keyword which tells the computer hey you have to make an object for this class okay so let's take it first program done this is how a person has been created first customer of this class has been created congratulations now i will just use p1 dot now i will use the name i will give my name own name okay so let's start giving the name let's give it the name as the color what color that you want um let's take it okay so let's take it black 
I want the black color. Okay, instead of color, I will write here sound because we were using sound. So rather than not to confuse sound system, we were using. So let's give it out here sound system only. Okay, now this the black color I was for, I wanted to give. Now it will be P one dot sound. I want to create this P one dot sound and here let me give the value of the sound of in the string form. Um, let's take it JBL as of now. Okay, JBL. Okay, so that's done. So after this p1 dot name we need to print the name also. Let's print this out system dot out uh, system dot out dot print ln and then I will just simply make this out um p1 dot name. You just have to display it p1 dot name so that you know whether the things are going correct or not. Okay, so let's run this and see are things going correct or not for the first customer. So let's run. Yes, the first customer are perfect the first customer things are perfect it's black and the, it's jpl sound system okay so what happened i created this first object this is how an object creation is done you need to know the object creation syntax it is simple you need to first write the class name and then p1 as your object name object name can be anything you can use p1 ob1 any variable type it's just like a variable you can say and then you need to create this new keyword after this again your class name okay let's do this drill again once more for another person again you have to create the object to create the object it will be first program and then let's give p2 as another customer then it we have to use the new keyword again and then it will be first program after this you have created your another customer after getting the other customer we just have to give the values of that customer okay it will be p2 dot name let's give him the name again um let's give it name this time let's take it blue okay after blue we have to give the sound system also it will be p dot sound okay and let's the sound system be as let's take another sound system sound system um i recall sony as of now so i can take it sony okay um after this what you have to do you just have to display okay so first display the person name person color System dot out dot print ln and then you can just display its p2 and dot name. Okay, you are done and then after that Sony will be displayed. Let's see whether this is working or not for the second person also. Okay, so you get blue and Sony. So this is the you can see now only with one variable and with one method only I am able to fulfill the orders of two customers that is p1 and p2 why it is just because that class is a blueprint and I am making objects and I am just defining the values to these variables these variables were not having value they were waiting for the values okay so I just gave the values to them so first I gave the value to the p1 name and then I just added the sound system to it similarly i took for the second one i added the name and then i just gave the sound system so just our class is a blueprint you can see we are taking the values and modifying them and giving our own values okay so i think now you got a glimpse of how you can create an object and how you can use in the class that's it you can now try making your own objects and own classes and try this drill out again thank you